Uh, Jesus says, whoever has my commands and loves them is the one who loves me. He who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and show myself to him. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, If anyone loves me, he will obey my teachings. My Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me will not obey my teachings. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father. Well, we're out. Rolling in the grass. Must be spring. A Judas, not Iscariot, can't understand why Jesus is talking about hiding himself away again. Uh, for a few months now, Jesus hasn't gone out in public very much. And then the great triumphal entry, and then uh, he's gone into Jerusalem in great triumph. He's been very public for the past week, but he's then talking about hiding himself and revealing himself only to his disciples. And Judas didn't understand it. What Jesus is talking about, however, is not a public uh, display. He's talking about the revelation of himself as the Son of God, the Word of God, the uh, second person of the Trinity, divine in all his nature and glory and attributes. He says that I'm going to reveal myself to those who obey me. It's interesting that first comes obedience and then revelation. First comes faith in what people have, the knowledge that people have, and then comes greater truth. And that's how God works. And that's how Jesus reveals himself. Those who accept what God has given them, evidences of Jesus Christ, of who he is and what he's done. Those who accept him, follow him, love him, see more and more as time goes on. And it answers the old adage, the old question. Uh, you have two people, maybe they grow up in the same house, they go to the same church while they're young. But as time goes on, one is not interested, doesn't follow Jesus Christ. What happened? Well, they didn't believe the truth they saw. And the other one, maybe, the other one believes, follows, loves, and sees more and more of Jesus Christ and of his glory. That's what God requires of us, that the truth he reveals to us, we need to accept, we need to believe. And then he'll show us more of himself. There's an old song, more about Jesus would I know, more of his love to others show. And this chorus, more and more about Jesus. And that's what we want to ask for. Lord, help me to live by faith, to obey you, and to love you, and to love your son. And show me more. Well, from me and my little friend, out here, on our morning walk, buzzing, enjoying the spring weather. God bless you. You ready? Good touch.